What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I want to talk about what's going to happen with Call of Duty, of course, at the end of the year. So there'll be the new Call of Duty title we get probably around November, of course, here in 2021. I know it's just the start of 2021, but there's already been a lot of speculation out there. So I kind of want to make a video talking about this. I know we haven't even had uh, Black Ops Cold War out that long, but as you guys know, when it comes to Call of Duty, uh, year in and year out, we get a new title. So it's always something that's talked about you know pretty often even after the new title has just come out there's still a lot of speculation a lot of leaks and things uh talking about the next title you know what comes out within usually 10 to 12 months we'll just kind of say you know right around that time frame of course guys before i get into everything if you're not subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are a subscriber make sure you have notifications turned on if you enjoy the content i uh, would appreciate a like here on the video and of course, check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Now, there's been a lot of speculation that Sle uh, Sledgehammer is going to come back into the fold. They're going to go back to that three uh, developer kind of cycle uh, that we had over the past few years. Now, we all know that Sledgehammer had some big issues this year. Uh, there was not a lot of changes, uh, or there was a lot of changes within the, uh, the, the, the company itself. And Sledgehammer kind of was one of those companies now that helped out with uh, Black Ops Cold War along with Raven Software, Binox, and some other uh, developers as well. But it seems uh, that a lot of people in the community are thinking that Sledgehammer is going to be back in the fold because of one of the recent tweets they tweeted out. They said they have hired over 150 new people to the studio this year, uh, despite everything that's going on in the world. Uh, and they also tweeted out, power off, power on, let's try this again, happy new year. A lot of people are speculating that this means that they're going to be coming back and kind of into the fold and going back to that three-year development cycle with Sledgehammer, Infinity Ward, and Treyarch. Now, let's be honest, I have not been a massive fan of Sledgehammer games. Uh, the games they have created, I I've not really just absolutely loved. Um, but that can also be said for Infinity Ward games over the years, uh, Treyarch games over the years. Some of them have been better than others. We'll just kind of say that. I'm kind of curious to see if they're actually going to do this. I would assume Activision would like this. The reason I'm saying this is because uh, years back, if you think about it, when it was just to begin with, when it was just Infinity Ward and Treyarch from year to year, a lot of people kind of started getting upset with the game or, you know, saying the game was stale because it was, you know, pretty much the same developer making the game year in and year out. And it was hard for them to bring anything new to the game because of, you know, the, the time kind of restraint issues. And we kind of saw that again this year with uh, Black Ops Cold War. It seemed like Treyarch did not have enough time. It really wasn't their fault that, you know, everything went on with uh, Sledgehammer and Activision pretty much just said, Treyarch, it's your turn to take it over. So I'm going to be kind of curious to see exactly what happens uh, going forward if Sledgehammer kind of comes back into the fold or if they decide to make Sledgehammer a partner of, you know, they're either Infinity Ward or Treyarch to, you know, kind of give these teams, you know, larger teams to make these games a little bit quicker, considering they're going to have to do it year in and year out, uh, you know, between two different developers. I'm kind of curious to see exactly what's going to happen. I would assume Activision at some point, if not this year, within the next couple of years, would like to go back to that three-year, uh, you know, three-year cycle with three different developers. Now, personally, you guys all know uh, what I would like to see, which is never going to happen, and that would be all the developers coming together, putting a head over one studio and making really good Call of Duty titles with all of these people working on the game. Because if you had all three development teams working on the game, I think you could get a lot of things done for public matches, for the Pro League, uh, for ranked playlist, just updates. I think it would work a lot better, just personally. But that's not going to be the case. I don't think we're ever going to get that, unless at some point Activision sees uh, some kind of change in the way they're making money, and they think it would make them more money to do it that way. I think we're probably going to stay with either a two or a three developer kind of cycle. Now, if it is the case, and a lot of people are thinking this is going to be the case, like I said, of course, this is all just speculation. A lot of people think this is going to be another World War game. So maybe like World War Three. I don't know if they would do something more like a futuristic style, you know, something, you know, years ahead of from now and kind of do a World War Three title, just, you know, a kind of modern uh, World War kind of game. A lot of people are calling for another advanced warfare game. I'm not sure if Activision's going to go back to jetpacks or anything like that. Uh, eventually, they're going to change something up again. You know, it was boots on the ground, then it was jetpacks. Now it's back to boots on the ground. A lot of people like boots on the ground Call of Duty. I would assume more people like boots on the ground Call of Duty than jetpack COD. Now, Black Ops 3, I really, really enjoyed. I liked the speed of the game. That was probably the only jetpack game that I really just absolutely loved playing. The other ones were just okay. 
Um, but I'm not sure if they did go with something like Advanced Warfare 2, if it would be you know, jetpacking. It could be just an Advanced Warfare style game. But in my opinion, if they did go with Advanced Warfare 2 or the idea of like a World War 3, that's kind of the same game in my opinion. It would be something that is futuristic. So I, I, I'm not sure exactly what it's going to happen. I think it is interesting that these things are being brought up already, that people are already talking about this, that people are already speculating that uh, Sledgehammer is back in the fold. Like I said, Sledgehammer is going to be back to making a Call of Duty title. The one thing I will say about having three developers uh, that I do enjoy is it seems that the games that come out that they make have more time to be tested, more time to you know be in alphas and betas, and more time just to develop interesting things in game. Now, does it make the perfect game? No. Sometimes you still have issues with it. But it seems like when we went from the two-year cycle to begin with of just Treyarch, Infinity Ward, and then added Sledgehammer in, it's not the games became a lot better, in my opinion. It's not the games were more interesting. The games had more time to develop. Um, now, will this be kind of all of a, a kind of a, just a moot point uh, if... You know, the skill-based matchmaking stays like it, it is, which I think is not going to change anytime soon unless Activision really sees a big hit in their money. Uh, that that could be the case. Uh, the, three developers, who cares, really, if, you know, skill-based matchmaking is as strict as it's been over the last couple of years. I think players are going to start step on, stepping away from the game, and somebody eventually is going to develop another first-person shooter that people really enjoy playing, and that could hurt Activision in the long run. But until that happens kind of just have to wait and see well, what's going to go on with these developers what's going to go on with the skill-based matchmaking algorithm that kind of thing kind of curious to see what's going to go on just in general for call of duty over the next several years of course it's getting really big on the pro scene i enjoy watching call of duty pro league it's so much fun to watch so if you've not, never watched it you definitely need to give it a look this year but guys leave me a comment with your thoughts are you happy to kind of hear this information do you think sledgehammer is going to come back and be one of the developers again and of course if you like the video hit the like and i'll catch you all next time peace